Hidden in the pebbles, near her decaying body, are thousands of eggs. Each glowing globe holds one of her precious babies and the future of her species. Hi, we're Carney and Saul, the directors of the short film Wild Salmon, a natural history fantasy that tells the story of the salmon in the form of a female swimmer. It's a BFI commission and we made it over lockdown. It took us about three years from start to finish and it premiered in Cannes this year where it was nominated for the Palme d'Or. Wild Salmon started as an idea we pitched to the BFI in 2020, just as the world was going into lockdown. We wanted to create an animal in the form of a human, thereby connecting our emotions to a figure that's like us, that's similar to us. The story of the Wild Salmon is one of great adventure and survival. It starts from a tiny egg, travels down through rivers, out to sea, past all the predators, traps, all the hardships that man puts in its way, the effects of global warming, pollution. Then it comes back upriver to the same place where it was born, only to die and give birth to a new generation. On a personal level, we are also always searching for home. We started the film by creating a detailed storyboard based on the life of the wild salmon, trying out many different options and variations over the next few months while still in lockdown. To design the female character, we looked at every tiny detail. What would she wear? What would her skin look like? A salmon skin? Something in between? Something in between a diver and fish? We wanted to get that just right. Her body was like an empowered swimmer. We wanted her to have muscles and we wanted her to be fish-like. We worked for a long time to get it just right, including a mouth that was a little fish-like. The mask made her more contemporary, iconic and easy to relate to, but we also made her specific with particular markings so that you could follow her on this epic journey. So then, once lockdown was eased, we decided to travel to Iceland as a family, with our two children. Our eldest, Yuli, was our aerial cinematographer on the film. We recreated the journey of the salmon in a circular path, and spent loads of time immersed in rivers and sea, submerging ourselves in water, to try and feel, in a way like method directing, we tried to feel what it would be like to be a fish. How would we become fish? And because this is an eco-film, we wanted to connect our viewers to the real places, to the real locations these fish swim in. When we got back, we set about locking down the edit and started animating and creating the shots with the assets we made in pre-production. The film has over 200 shots that require a range of animation and special effects from full water simulation to very fine facial animation. It took a long, long time. We call it slow fun. We also started to lock in the kind of music we would like. We love the idea of mixing Middle Eastern instruments and influences to contradict the Nordic landscape visuals. Lastly, we were lucky enough to get the incredible and iconic Marianne Faithful to record the VO. She was perfect, a strong woman, a true survivor and an artist. This is a very personal and meaningful film to us. It touches on topics we care about deeply. The survival of wildlife and nature around us, but also the survival of humans. How we treat nature and how we treat each other, showing that they are both so fragile and yet so intertwined. Mm -hmm.